Do y'all guys really think, like, did you really think you could get rid of me that easily? Did you really think that I was going to give in to all these negative comments I've received over the years? It wasn't that many. But there were some people out there saying, yo, not lock, like, stop what you're doing. But I'm, like, I'm just like, yo, there's way more positivity vibe in here than negative, you know. As a YouTuber, you end up facing a lot of situations like this where you'll get comments from people telling you to do some erratical stuff to yourself, such as um, K-Y-S, you know? And I laugh at those comments because it's like, what type of mentality is these people, what kind of satisfaction are they getting with this mentality by spreading this kind of negativity on the internet? So what I do best, what I try to do my best at is just spreading positive information, encouraging smaller YouTubers to grow their channels and supporting the dreads that are interested and foregoing dreadlock situations currently to help people get through that awkward stage, the, the hardships of, you know, your peers and your friends telling you about how shitty your hair might look. You know, I'm here to help you guys get through that and help ignore those people and essentially teach you how to not care what people think about you and your hair. That's the kind of vibes I'm trying to spread here. What's going on into web? That's that guy. It's not locks, not nation, vaping. Doing a dread review today on Fulio. He's been requested on this channel a few times. I had to look him up. I don't know anything about him, but we're gonna see today what his locks are about. I realize I don't need to know anything about these artists of the lock reviews. I don't need to know them, but we're gonna look at their dreads and see how their locks look because essentially that's what we do. We look at dreads and we say, hey, this guy's dreads are cool. How do we get dreads like that? How do I encourage myself to stick to this route? Who knows? But without further ado, let's get into, let's get into Fulio dreads. Looking kind of crazy, to be honest. Hailing from Florida, Duval County, Fulio is an American rapper out of Jacksonville, Florida. He uses the moniker Julio Fulio or Julio Fulio in 2018. He became popular after releasing tracks like Crooks, Slide, Voodoo. Within a short span of time, he's released over six different mixtapes. Damn, son. Um, age 21. Born June 1st, 1998. Real name, Charles Jones. Let's take a look at his locks, shall we? Seems to be pretty crazy. Fuck you. I always gotta go to Bing, actually. Bing. Bing is my face favorite place to go. Oh, snap. Yo, these are legit wicks going on here. Halen Jacksonville. A lot of people in Florida going with the free form route. And I gotta say, it's the best route to go. There's no better than the free forms. Now, what I'm liking about his hair here, the frizz balls, the dread balls happening on the top, natural occurrence. Some people will take these dread balls and, and st stick them back into the dreads at the root. That's one way to sort them out. Another way is to just leave them like homie's doing here. Now, what we see here is his hair is, is you know, a few years in, maybe three, four years in length and they were thinner at some point. And he's decided to, to clump them up with rubber bands all the way up, you know, and enforcing the wick, the wick lifestyle. Cause we all know that wicks are very popular in Florida. So this will work. I mean, rubber bands on the dreads actually work. Um, the downfall is that they might get stuck in your hair especially when you got to use so many of them here if they break or if your hair just like eats it up and they get stuck in there like that can happen it can definitely happen um, an alternative way to make these wick up like this is by wrapping them with um, thread hemp string another way to do it is by sewing them another way to do it is by crocheting them rubber bands being the other option for the wick hairstyle 
kind of looking like Lil Wayne's, but you can see Lil Wayne's were never fully rubber banded. It looks like it might have been rubber banded here a little bit, and then he got really big dreads there. So, <clears throat> looking at Fulio Julio's dreads here, we see that they are really frizzy. He doesn't care about no frizzy hairs fraying around. This look here with the beanie on top, the toque, the ski hat on top looks uh, really dope with the thickness of his locks that he's going for. These days, I'm super into thick dreads, you know, opposed to like 10 years ago where I was very against thick dreads. I've totally flipped my perspective, perspective on that. Um, and it seems like he's just starting the wick stage out right now. So it's, in, it's gonna be interesting to see where these dreadlocks go on this journey over the years now. Um, you know, I know this this looks kind of looking like Denzel Curry here. One, two, three. I mean, he's got less than 10 dreads on his head while they're wicked up like this. A lot of Afro coming in on that new growth. And here it shows that his sides are actually shaved down a little bit in the earlier stages. Um, rocking the, the 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 jacket out in the cold, dread still rubber banded up, and uh, big shout outs to Coolio. Big shout outs to Coolio's hairstyle. <laughs> um, he used to have actually, you know what? I remember his his song "Gangsters Paradise" back in the day, and he had these crazy dreads, well braids going everywhere, and I just remember that image. This was probably one of the first images that I saw of crazy single braids looking wild. And I'm like, wow, I want to get my hair like that. But I didn't know how. But yo, big ups to Coolio for inspiring guys like Fulio. Um, so yeah, essentially, I'm going to have to check out his Instagram feed a little bit just to see how his dreads have come about since... I don't know. I don't know what his Instagram handle is. Julio Fulio. All right. Let's see where his dreads are now. So now we can see he's got some length in them. Down to his chest. And a lot of the rubber bands he had in there are now taken out. Except for these on the ends. Showing that the wicked ends have rubber banded and formed together last. But I like to see that they, it actually worked and he took out all the bands and now he's just got some thicker dreads. So I'm not a fan of this, how he's got it shaved down on the sides. Doesn't look good at all to me. Um, but I do like the way that his dreads are thick now. Homie's got some wicks here going on too. Yeah, to each their own on, on the way that they want to decide to do their hair really. Um, dreads looking mad thick now, real crazy. And this dude's actually pretty tall. Right next to Young Thug there. So you can kind of still see the old dreads that were formed together in these wicks. I like it. I like the way that he's formed his locks really up, up like that. Real nice. And the tips are very blunted. So it goes to show rubber bands do work. He's He obviously... Those are sick shoes. He obviously had um, some help changing the rubber bands out and keeping them fresh. And that's the best thing you can do if you are rubber banding your dreads together is to have them changed out, you know, at least a few times, uh, maybe once a month or something, just to make sure they don't get stuck in there in any sort of way. But Julio Fulio here, not fooling us with nothing because his locks looking righteous for show. Okay, girl, calm down. Uh, let's see what he's looking like here with the beanie. I can't believe he fit all his dreads in that beanie. Like, damn, god damn, god damn, man, shit. Um, yeah, Florida dreads, definitely my favorite. I feel like Florida right now is the dreadlock capital of the states of North America. Um, they definitely have the most interesting looks going on down there. I'm still wanting to go and visit and link up with some dreads in Florida. Um, get some real dread interviews in and just some content out there. Um, so then you guys are watching this from Florida and you guys want to link up and do some content. I'm definitely um, all ears 
and I, uh, I'm opened up to some collaborations down there. If you, want, if you guys want to get, you know, get the culture more exposed, more seen, right? I come out there and make some do some documentaries with these with these uh, wick heads. So, yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Let me know what you guys think about DC the Don's dreads. Would you ever put rubber bands in your hair to wick them up like DC the Don? I kind of have some going on here myself right now. Uh, I use string instead, but I wouldn't mind a few more rubber bands along the, the top of my dreads here to make this really stick together. The roots of these dreads are actually really matted up uh, and congoed already. It's just the ends that need to close up. I will do a video on the roots of these coming up soon because I would like to show you guys what it is kind of looking like congoing up at the roots with like six, seven, eight dreads going all into one. And um, I'll probably end up doing a few, a couple more bigger dreads on this side as well in, in the days to come or years to come or months, to, whenever. But I do like getting bigger and thicker dreads. So anyways, I'm going to sign off. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Until next time, I'll see you guys around. I hope you guys stay happy and stay natty. But until then, peace out, one love. And I'll see you guys around. Around, around. I'm gone. Adios, my friends.